After my grandfather sadly passed away, I decided it was time to take out a $3 million loan, move out to his old farm, and restart over from scratch. Find out what happens today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are currently right now on our way over to some new land that we just came across. We had the opportunity to team up with this new guy that, with these new guys that just came into town here, and they want to build a new co-op, and I'm like, you know what? I have some experience in it, so why not? So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go help these guys build and make the first layouts of the co-op overall, and hey, have some fun with it. And we'll actually end up running our very own co-op, maybe more in the future. the new co-op i just went back home got some things now we're heading back up to work so this is the technically original co-op area like this is where people will fill up certain things but now we have this new little part where you kind of come back here and you ask your way in you'll sell your grain we are able to give out more equipment we have our john deere dealership that helps us out massively get in some of this equipment plenty plenty of different stuff for people to take a look at huge huge shop because we have big plans for the future of this place so this right here is going to be our main grain storage so this half is going to be for corn that other half will be for beans uh we're going to try to sell out and whatever we can't hold we've made an agreement with that over there we're also buying that old co-op out and so hopefully we'll have that as well but what i know i think believe there's somebody up in the top area waiting on me for a business meeting in the new shop which by the way y'all have got to take a look at this this thing is humongous like just coming inside of here like this is a huge shop hello hey how's it going sir good how are you good come on inside come on inside all righty sorry we're working on we're working in dark we just got this place built we're trying to get everything moved in uh, a little bit of an empty shelf right now but hey hopefully not for long yeah it looks real nice oh yeah uh i actually need some seed uh we're just right down the road and I just realized we actually didn't order seed. Uh, the old company basically. Oh, went out I remember of you. Oh yeah, you're the guy who stopped by and uh, asked for directions. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll be able to take care of you easily. All right, let's go uh, take a look and see what we got. Do you know what kind of seeds you're wanting to plant? Uh, Pioneer decab. Any? You got any kind of that stuff? Uh, right now we only have tubs of Pioneer. Oh, that is fine. That'll work perfect. All right, first thing we gotta figure out what uh type of box you want to take. I mean, you got uh, these old classic ones down here, but I do recommend these right here. They're cheaper. 
and they're just easier to run. Ooh, then I'll probably take those. I've never used one of those before. We we usually run this uh, seed runner right here, the Sunver first, but I've never used the Meridian before. All right. Do you want to go and get your truck and hook up to one of these, and I go ahead and pull the seed boxes out? Uh, yes, sir. All right. While he does that, all we got to do is just simply go ahead and grab one of these boxes. So it should take three boxes because it has a reserve of pretty much one full box. So we want to let it have that reserve. All right. This should be the last box. All righty. Hey, do me a favor, though. Yeah? Don't just throw these boxes wherever once they're empty. Please bring them back. You get credits if you bring them back. All right. Will do. All right, sir. That'll be $2,000 paid to the co-op. All right. I can write you, uh, get you a check written up. All right. Go ahead and get that written up and uh, send the funds over. All right, sir. You have yourself a good one. All right. Thank you. All righty. So we also had to go ahead and grab another full box because right now we are actually heading all the way back to our farm way across town and so actually this is up here and we have to go all the way to the other side so we got a nice little drive in front of us and the one good part about being so close to this older co-op that we're wanting to buy out is they have way more grain storage than what we have we might actually want to stop here for a second take a look at this field we have right here so the one problem with this field, we kind of bought it in between a farmer's land. So there's this other farmer here. He owns this field, this field, and this field. And then we own this field and this field, of course. So we still own land that's touching, but of course he owns some of the other land as well. So hopefully the goal is, ooh, actually, you know what? A good goal would be actually to start on that field. So we're actually just going to part this probably in the field here and get my wife to come pick me up and uh, take me back. All righty. We're on the road in road gears, heading back towards the farm. So we did finish that one field right there, 48. Get that fully knocked out with corn. Now we're going to move over to these fields. We're going to try to knock out the rest of this, or at least 53 with corn. And we'll kind of see what all we get done from there. Well, we're getting planting going right now. We're going to at least start on this field. I'm going to try to knock out both headlands. So for this field, with this field being as square as it is, I'm not going to do traditional headlands. I'm just going to do like the top part and the bottom part. And then we're just going to do up and down rows from there. So we're not really going to focus too much on the actual like sides or something like that. We're just going to do the actual newer headlands than traditional type headlands. Well, right now we are getting this field looking pretty good. We've almost got this little bit of a bottom section planted. I just kind of cut this bottom section off and decided it needed to at least get some planting in the ground because we're trying to knock out most of this field, if not all of it today. And this tractor is eating this stuff alive. Now, eventually, maybe next year, the goal will be to at least buy another mm -hmm. planter of some type but i'm not 100 percent sure what the exact goal will be as of right now i know you know main things are first and that is at least just get all the corn in the ground and kind of go from there well we just ran out of good old seeds so now we got to go ahead and open this thing back up and we got to park here underneath and at least go ahead and relock and load with seed it is lock and loaded time to head back out there to the field and at least finish what we started all righty and there she is the last little bit of this field we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up pull this darling back up and uh i'll say it like this i'm willing to say we're done for the day because there ain't really a whole lot more to really do here i am going to go over to williams farm and see if there's any place we can go get like lunch or supper at and see if he wants to come with me all right just gonna drop that right there ain't no point in taking that all away with me Howdy. How did it do? Man, I already used all your seed. Um, it worked out perfect. I'm actually just right where I need to be. So thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome. I just finished seeding for the planting for the day myself. Oh, well, glad to see you getting along well. Yeah, well, everything's getting along pretty well. I was going to come drop a beer and buy and ask if you want to go out and eat some dinner with me. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'd like to join you. All right, let's go. I hope you like steak. Oh, I love steak. Hey, Nate. Yeah. Uh, sorry we came all this way to pick this planter up. Eh, you're fine. I'm coming all this way anyway. I gotta eventually buy a new grass setup. I'm wanting to start getting into grass with all that land beside my house. Hey. Yeah. That looks like a new truck. Yeah, I don't know what he's bought. I don't question it, but uh, I'll take it. That looks like the one he was talking about. I mean, it looks like something. We might want to find the sales representative, see if he can give us any information. Yeah, alrighty. Let's go in here. Come on. Gosh. 
Fit them uh, hips in there. Ah, uh, you just fed me steak, man. I'm I got wide hips. A little bit more than steak there, bud. Hey guys, what's up? Nothing much. Uh he's coming for a planter and I'm uh here to look around and hopefully buy a couple things. Wait, were you the were you the guy that called in like last week and wanted that that uh Kenzie on special order to get here? Cause it's been sitting here for like a couple days now. Yeah, that's that's my partner. He's he's a little slow and lazy at times, so I came to pick up for him. Okay, and then there was like a truck that came with it or something. I don't know what the deal was, but it came off. We lo unloaded it off the trailer. We got everything all backed up there, and it's just been it's just been sitting there for a couple days. And I was about ready to give you guys a call, like see when you are all coming to get it. Well, I ain't gonna complain too much. I mean, new planner, new truck. Uh, I'm sure the leaf springs and everything else are probably shot on that with the weight load, but I'm not gonna question it. Alrighty. Well, uh, Nate, Nate, what are you here for? Uh, I, I heard y'all had some like smaller equipment, some smaller type tractors for good for like hay usage. I mean, we have some uh, some old equipment in stock. Most of it's sitting kind of in the back or kind of like up there on the front. If you've seen it when you drove up, I mean, we can go out there and take a look at it if you really want to. Yeah, let's go take a look. I'd love to see what all you got out here. We got ourselves a 4960, which is this one here on the left with the Firestone Duels. Um, this one's comes. Uh, this one did not come with the GPS system on it. Uh, it can be installed though. And then we have ourselves an 8410 that we actually just got this one off of a trade, I would say probably three weeks ago, farmer that came in upgraded. And this one comes fully loaded with the GPS system in it. And I think if I remember right, we do have the Kinsey monitor for it. If you're looking for something like that. Uh, we're not looking for anything with a monitor, really. We're just looking for something that we can uh, just use for like hay work and stuff like that. I mean, if you're looking to do grass work, I mean, I'm not going to lie. This, this 7810 here, I mean, it does have the... The attachments to do like a loader on the front of it we are we do not have the duels for it so that's something that would have to be supplied if you want to have it ordered and come through and we'd install it for you uh how much y'all looking for this tractor oh this one i think was coming across at like 76.5 is what we we're trying to get for it all right and uh i don't see a whole lot of grass equipment i'm taking guess the mower there and your baler and then your k brand windrow right here is about all you got yeah we don't we don't get too many guys that come in here looking for doing grass um i'm about the only guy that actually does hay in this valley but we do get some people that come in here get stuff ordered and they don't ever come and pick it up and that's kind of what this uh 560 m uh john deere baler is for um i run one of these and it's i highly recommend it it's a good piece of equipment uh what kind of uh deal could we get for i guess all four pieces of equipment for the mower, the baler, the K brand, and the tractor. Well, uh, for all four, if I had to run the numbers in my head, I would say you're looking at about a hundred and twenty-five thousand, probably for all all four. Sold. Let's go get that paperwork. Yeah, let's go get some paperwork done. All righty, and I have your check here. I had to run out to try to get it. Twenty-five thousand dollars. All right, your uh, receipts just printing here on the printer. Let me grab this for you real quick. Um, you got two places to sign and then we should be good to go. Uh, can you deliver the tractor and what's attached to it? I'll come back for that, but can you deliver the baler and the mower? Yeah, I think we can get that done for you. All right. I appreciate that. And here you go. Sign that. There you go. Any more information you need? Nope. That should be it. All right, sir. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get that tractor ready to go and I'll come back up for it a little bit later today. All right. Is the take keys care inside now. of it? Um, yes. Yes, they are, actually, because we All just right. got done moving it up there. All right. Sounds good. I'll come back for it later then. William. Yeah. Just stop me. I mean, you got the new co-op. It sounds kind of like you're made of money. I didn't want to pay for it. It was investors outside of the community. Okay. Well, uh, I get to take this home now and hope I don't blow a tire. So, uh... you know, you know, looking at what you have compared to what I have, I think I came away, came away the day with a cheaper purchase. Yeah, you did.